How's it going everybody? John McLennan here and welcome to the Abbey Road series episode number 14. In today's video we're going to learn how to play Golden Slumbers by the Beatles on guitar. I've taken that classic piano intro part and arranged it for guitar. I'm going to show you a way of playing this finger style so we're not going to use a pick and we're going to do sort of this claw and then thumb technique where we pinch the strings and play a bass note just to get that piano sound from the guitar. Before we get into it though, I really appreciate you checking out the links below. I've got a free book that you can download that's all about soloing. It's got over a hundred licks and exercises in it, and along with that book you also get a free blues training series with tabs as well. So check that out as my gift to you at the link below, and with that said, let's break this song down. Let's break down how to play Golden Slumbers by the Beatles on guitar. We're going to start with a one bar intro on an A minor 7 chord, and then we're going to go into the verse section. Here's what it sounds like. What a beautiful part here. Now again, I've taken that sort of piano part and arranged it for guitar. So we're going to start on this three note chord here. And really it's part of this A minor 7 chord shape here. If you thought of your A minor and then you just put your pinky on, that gives you an A minor 7. But we're just going to play the top three strings. So we'll play the third fret on the first string the first fret on the second string, and the second fret on the third string. Now I am playing this finger style, so with my finger picking hand, I'm going to sort of break up the chord and play, to start I'll play two strings here, the first string and the second string, with my middle and index finger, and then my thumb's going to go on the third string, and I'll alternate like this. play three bars of that. Okay, so it's one bar that's just an intro. One and two and three and four. Then the vocal comes in once there was a way. Stay there. One. Get back homeward. Now here we have a bass note that moves to the D note, so our fourth string with our thumb. And now I'm going to bring in more fingers. I'm going to play index, middle, and ring to play three strings here. And I'm going to do a D minor chord. Then I'm going to move it up. It's an E minor. And then I'll play what looks like a D chord, but at the fifth fret, it's really an F chord. And then back to E minor. So it's like D minor, E minor, F. E minor, but it's all over D, so it's really just moving the harmonies of a D minor sound. And then back. Then you go to G7. Two bars. Okay, so so far, starting from the verse, two bars of A minor 7. D minor, two bars. If you want, you can move move the changes here. G7, two bars. Then we go into this. Okay, so what I did here for the G7, again, I, I moved the thumb is always, your thumb is always going to play the root note or the bass note. One, two, and three, and four, and then we're going to spend two beats on C. One, and two, and then E7, two beats, A minor, two beats, and then we're going to play D minor nine over A, 
which is an open A string, fifth string open, then third fret, second fret, third fret, and then open E. And then we're gonna do this little walk that's like, it reminds me of Blackbird, right? It's that same walk. So technically you could think of these chords, G, A minor seven, G over B, then back to G, then C, and those are all quarter notes. So it's like one, two, three, four, then C. So what a beautiful little part there. So the D minor nine over A for four beats. One, two, three, four, then. So when we start the faster moving chords, when the chords start moving two beats each like this, one and two and three, and four, and when we get to the A minor, we have a two, four bar. We're gonna count one, two. Then when we go to the D minor nine over A, we'll restart our count and just go one, two, three, four, then. So the whole verse sounds like this. One, two. Then we go. So this is the golden slumbers, fill your eyes. And that's really just a big C chord to a big F add nine chord. So it's just this rhythm, one and two and three and four and F add nine, C. Then again, C, smiles away, you and you right. Then we go to the same thing as before, C, E7, two, far, two four bar, A minor. D minor nine over A, four counts, and the little walk up. Have fun practicing golden slumbers on guitar. Make sure to subscribe. If this is the first video in this series you've seen, I'm posting a brand new song lesson for every single song on the Abbey Road album. We're going in chronological order, so make sure you subscribe. Also, I'm gonna leave all these videos up on YouTube so you can access them at any time, and you'll be able to play every song on Abbey Road. It's a great album. Before you go, don't forget to download my free book in the description below and get the blues training. If you got some value out of today's video, I know you're gonna be able to get a ton more out of my free training that you can get down below. As always, leave any song requests in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.